Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And today I have some words of knowledge and a message from the Lord. I'm just praying right now because I saw an incident with a smashed windscreen. So Heavenly Father, I come against any incident that would involve a smash windscreen, an accident or anything being damaged or thrown or smashed, whatever it is. Heavenly Father, I protect your people today. Cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ today in the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody that is concerned about an up and coming meeting and the Lord is saying that I go before you you have nothing to be concerned for when God is for you who can be against you so Lord be with that person bring peace today in the name of Jesus Christ there's also the Lord is saying choose wisely within this season of the investments that you choose to do because the next season is about to change so Heavenly Father whoever that person is may they receive this word of wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ there's also somebody uh, that bumped their head recently and it's concerned you. So Heavenly Father, I pray for that person that has bumped their head recently. Heavenly Father, you'll bring healing to whatever has taken place within that situation right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also pray for somebody. Uh, someone has also uh, has a very weak immune system is that as if that is you i pray for your immune system right now in the name of jesus christ lord that you would just come and bring restoration to that weak immune system that has come about within that person's life right now in the name of jesus christ there's also somebody that's going to quit politics soon and it's going to support Surprise you. So get ready for that. You'll see somebody is about to quit politics and it's going to be a complete surprise. Uh, God is also saying uh, to put that plan on the shelf for now and trust in Him. Put that plan on the shelf for now and trust in Him. That is a message specifically for someone. You'll know it's for you because these words will speak straight to your heart. God is also about to elevate somebody that has remained faithful to him. So if that is you today, God is about to elevate somebody that has remained faithful to him. So Lord, I pray that you will just bring about that promotion because it does not come from the east or the south or the west because God will pull one man down and exalt another. So Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I also expose a demonic thief within your house. There is someone that has just been noticing a lot of disappearance of certain things in your home. So Heavenly Father, I pray right now that that demonic activity will cease right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has been missing, anything that has been misplaced or also uh, repositioned in your homes, I come against that spiritual attack for somebody in particular in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody with a skin condition, whether it's eczema, a rash or blotching of the skin. Heavenly Father, I pray for that person right now, Lord, that you would bring healing and that condition will now now start to be on the mend in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody that is praying particularly for your parents at this particular point, whether it's a parent or parents together. God is saying, I, as I come into agreement with you for this prayer right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody that has asked yourself this question. How is it that this particular person that you know knew something about you that you had never mentioned before? And it's kind of like playing on your thoughts in the background. But the Lord says, do not be worried. I have you covered. I have you covered in the front, on the sides, and I am your rear guard. Trust in me. I have you covered. And the Lord is also saying about somebody, it's time for you to have a fresh start. 
Start afresh. They were the words. Start afresh. Somebody God is speaking to, start afresh. See, when you do something afresh, you start it again as if it was your first time. So the wonderful part about Jesus is that he gives us a fresh start every day, precious saints. Every morning the sun rises and God is calling us to a deeper place with him, giving us a chance to start again. So God is speaking to that person today. Remember, every time the sun rises, his love, wisdom and forgiveness are waiting for us also. His mercies are new every morning because of the Lord's great love. We are not consumed for his compassion. Never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. As it says, according to Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23. So maybe no matter the circumstance you're facing, maybe last year was your best year ever. And maybe this seems to be the hardest year or vice versa. Either way, now is your chance to reflect on what should remain in the past and pray for what you want God to do for the remaining of this year. Allow God to take over. So no matter what has happened, God is giving you a clean slate. Every time we repent, we're given a clean slate. A new page is given to us. And God is the author and the finisher of your faith. So precious saints, take the time to reflect today. I would challenge you to think about what you want to leave behind and what you need more moving forward. Remember, His mercies his mercies are new every morning. So Heavenly Father, I pray for that person and for each person. As God is saying, start afresh today. It is a new beginning for each of us. Heavenly Father, I pray, help us to leave what is in the past in the past. And we ask for a fresh start today. A fresh start today. Lord, I pray that whatever we do, would it be pleasing to you? Reveal to us any things that are tossed toxic within our lives that we need to leave behind today and give us lord our eyes to see those things even things ahead of us lord as we remain faithful to you you always remain faithful to us and you never give up on us lord so i pray today for each person that you will bless them that you will touch them that you will provide for them that you will lead them onto paths of righteousness. It is a fresh beginning. Let us start this thing afresh today as though it is the first time we have ever done it. I pray your blessings upon your people today. Touch them. Release your glory. Release your presence. Release your anointing. Bring healing to each person that needs healing. Lord, bring breakthrough to each person that needs breakthrough and come and just bring your peace and your love let's know today the lord loves you very much no matter how you may have let him down he is a merciful god cry out to him ask for his forgiveness today he is there waiting for you he loves you with a love that you can never buy in this world you can never earn his love but his love was demonstrated by sending his son jesus christ to die on the cross for you receive his forgiveness today receive his mercy today receive his love today he loves you he loves you Heavenly Father, release your love upon that person. May they know your love today. May they know your mercy today. May they know your forgiveness today. Wash your people. Prepare your people for your coming. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. 
Amen and Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you from Indonesia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. Precious Saints, it is time to prepare for His coming. Don't forget, we've got the three-day fasting at the end of this month and every Friday is corporate Friday fasting. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. So from my family to yours, we love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.